You guys are going to have to forgive me a little bit. I'm si- I got to sip liquid because I just did a almost two hours on YouTube for uh, a live stream over there. So I got to I got to keep sipping stuff. Keep my voice hydrated. This was going to be in my original thumb for YouTube, but I was like, you know, there's such assholes that if I say never stick your prick in crazy, someone will probably have a, a problem with prick. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with this one. We're going to upload this one over to YouTube. When Tinder goes wrong. I love these. Uh, these are kind of fun. I don't want to become just like a reaction channel because that gets boring as shit. And there's plenty of people out there doing that already. Um, but I do like throwing these in because so many times guys are like, oh man, I never get matches on, on dating apps, even though I'm stupid enough to keep trying them because I'm a stupid dummy that doesn't listen to anything Joker says. Or <laughs> Actually, I'm glad some of you guys stay on there because you send me the dating profiles of the day and I absolutely love them. So pl- if you're going to stay on there, stay there as a goof and just keep swiping till you find something funny and then screenshot it and then send it to me uh, in the upper left on the web page. You can message me and just shoot it over to me. All right. Uh, we're going to, today is centered around female entitlement. What happens when you tell women no, and they don't accept your no, even if you haven't slept with them? <laughs> this is from, uh, this is from sounds like rhymes with, uh, read it. <laughs> had to think there for a second. So it says, uh, so I, a 22-year-old female, have been interested in this guy, 24 male, for the longest time. Let's call him Frank. Frank and I work in the same field. He's known and recognized for his skills in the company. Okay, that's a high-value male. Frank knows his business and is well on his way to becoming CEO. Cash excessive opportunity. That's what, that's what CEO stands for, for with women. Cash excess opportunity. Uh, Frank is funny, good looking, tall, kind, empathic, resourceful, and financially responsible. He has a nice house, a dog, and his girlfriend is a literal model. So it sounds like she wants a 10%, 10, well, if he's going to be CEO, it's, it's a one percenter, but she, uh, hey, there you go. Uh, Matt Work, uh, thanks for the buck. CEO cash extraction opportunity. I like that. I got to remember that. Uh, so he's a one percenter uh, and he's dating. His girlfriend is a literal model. Let's call Frank's girlfriend Mia. Mia is sweet beautiful, tall, confident, and she seems to be a very good girlfriend. Now, why is it that Frank would be able to date a girl like Mia? Because he has choices. He has choices. But Mia has nothing in common with him. How do we know this girl who writes this post? Well, Mia has nothing in common. Wait, they're both tall. They're both beautiful. They're both sweet. They're both nice. They're both confident. It sounds like they're very similar in many, many ways, but this girl doesn't think so. And here's why she doesn't think so. Frank refuses to give me a chance, and I don't understand why. (laughs) Talk, Guys, can you imagine that? Uh, There's this model at work, and, uh, you know, I'm 5'6". I'm a little bit overweight and got a little bit of a belly. I'm 49 years old, and but she's literally a supermodel, and I don't understand why she won't give me a chance. Her and her boyfriend, Chad Thunderstroke, have nothing similar. Shocking, shocking. She says, I have so much in common, in common with him, but he seems only to be interested in women that are models. Yes, because he's a one percenter. Uh, I get him in ways that Mia can't. How do you know this? Frank is so vapid, frankly, that he can't see that. So because Frank has a super, because Frank is a one percenter and he's dating a one percenter and won't choose her, he's now vapid and and obviously blind that he can't see what this wonderful woman brings. Now, what does she bring? As far as physical traits go, I weigh 115 
and I'm five foot two. Okay, you're not a big girl. I'm a B cup and I have long, dark hair. Personality wise, I'm empathic, shy, nice, and very forgiving. Love just comes easy for girls like Mia. Well, if he's dating a supermodel and you're 5'2 and average height and average boobs and uh, you don't sound like a supermodel to me, I'm just saying. Now, that's not to say that if Frank was single, he wouldn't throw one into you after a couple cold ones at the bar if he had, you know, because again, a lot of guys are like, do I want to crank it or will I take this average girl to my place and have a little good time? Most of the guys will take the average girl home. He says, well, I understand everyone has preferences. I just thought, <laughs> now listen to everything she just said. And then she says, well, I understand everyone has preferences. Yeah, and Frank's preference is Mia and not you. I just, I just thought that Frank was deeper than that. He needs to deeply care for my average ass. This always seems to be the case with men. And there it is. There it is, guys. She's just related Frank a top one percenter with all men. How many times have we said this? Men don't want women that are like them. Wait, what? Men don't want women that are like them. Sweetheart, you literally just said they're both models and tall and successful and kind. And You just described Mia is Frank, but with boobs. Uh, men... Men want women that look like models and then will get mad when their girl cheats on them or leaves them for a man with more money. Well, he's going to be CEO. You don't have to worry about that. Why am I not good enough for Frank? And why is it so hard for me to find a boyfriend? Oh, where is my ding, ding, ding? Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? How shocking. She wants a one percenter. She's not a one percenter. He's dating a one percenter. She says all men are like this. And then she asks, why am I not good enough for the one percenter who already has a girlfriend and is a one percenter? And then she says, why is it so hard for me to find a boyfriend? Because you're only looking at one percenters. This sums up everything we talk about women today. Because she slept with guys like Frank before. She slept with those guys she went out to the club and guys that were like Frank or she went, I don't know, had friends or whatever that hook, hook, she had hookups with guys like Frank. Then Frank, who's got all the choices in the world, chooses a literal model who's sweet and kind and beautiful, probably only until she decides to run off with the CEO money. But anyway, and then she complains she can't find a boyfriend because she wants specifically Frank, a taken man but he's a one percenter. And I've said this many, 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 many times. And you guys now know this. You have to know this for a fact. Women would rather share a winner than settle for an average guy all to themselves. They would rather, they'd be like, well, I know he's got other girlfriends, but he treats me well. And I think he'll love me. And we have good times and, you know, he says he wants to be with me, but he's not ready to settle that. They'll, they'll run rabbit They'll run rabbit circles in their head trying to justify why to keep sleeping with the winner. Uh, But you know it's true. Uh, Let's see, uh, Don DeMeo, $1. Yo, I'm back, Joker. By the way, uh, those weren't bots. It was a guy sending the same pickup lines to all his matches. Was that what it is? Really? What kind of guys like, oh, the queen died. Are you okay? Jesus. Wait a minute. Are you sure? Hold on, let me do a let me do a little control shift T. That can't be right because this is all on one screenshot and it's all female names coming in. Are you sure about that one, man? I'm not sure about that. These are all female because if it was a girl and it was a if a if a guy was sending that out to a bunch of people, you'd see a bunch of screenshots with the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this looks like one screenshot from one phone and they're all females talking in. I don't know. Now now you got me confused, but it still doesn't. I think I'm right. 
So anyway, uh, good old good old average girl sleeping with Frank or, or wants to sleep with Frank, who slept with Franks, who wants to date Franks. She ain't getting no Franks. Uh, let's see. Let me catch these before they disappear on me. Okay, I think I got all of them. All right. All right, next one. Uh, let's see. Most of these are guys uh, capturing the screenshots. So everything on the left or in the light writing here is from the female. Uh, she, repl- she replies to him something July 25th, 2021, literally a year ago. And her last thing she ever said to him was LOL. And he didn't reply after that. Let me see here. She says, out of the blue, a year later, almost to the day, hello, how are you? He's like, good, what's up? She says, not much doing ho- homework. How about you? He's like, not, nothing much, just relaxing. Why did you message me after so long? She says, Nice. I don't get notifications of messages here. I'm in college doing 60 panels of a scene. Therefore, I'm busy at times, not always on or near my phone. Also, I don't feel entitled to answer everyone, every one single person here, especially since I got ghosted. Uh, since I've been ghosted on many times on this app. Plus, I've never met you or talked to you before, so I would appreciate if you not question how long it takes for someone to answer because... People have their reasons or just simply as they're busy. Tip for messaging online dating. Don't ask girls or women why they take a long time to respond. It comes out as rude, especially since guys ghost on us a lot. Online dating apps, which is more rude than something just blah, 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 blah. Now, the guy that posted this had said, this is someone I don't even remember. And I had like talked to a year ago because we matched up. And he he literally is like, I'm just relaxing. So why'd you message me after a year of us last talking on this dating app? And she goes into this tirade about ghosting and entitlement and don't ask women how long and don't be rude. And like, and if you're a little confused, this guy was too. And here's the thing, guys, this is not a mentally well person. That's the real takeaway here. This is not a mentally well person. And maybe he realized that because last, as you can see here, like last time when they were talking, she finished, he said something, she finished with an LOL and he never replied. He was just like, forget it. And again, keep this in mind as we go through these guys. You guys that are are still on the dating apps, which I'm fine with, please send me screenshots of your mess. Um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right, just for you, Mad Dog. Well, you know what? Okay, yes, she has emotional damage. Yeah, she has that. But I would have, I would have gone with this one. You need many years of therapy, many, many, many years of therapy, and I bullshit you not. Imagine again. So you guys that are not getting any matches, you're not missing it. You're not missing it, missing anything on these things. Here's the next one. Uh, so he says something or other and replies. So they say something and he says, it's, it's going all right. How are you? And they, uh, the girl says, I'm doing okay. Now here's what's interesting. Up here in the upper left, I don't know which app this is, but when it says 42, if you go back, you have 42 other messages. Maybe that's what that says. That, that gives me maybe a hint, an indicator that this guy is pretty popular, has lots of people talking to him. Just a guess. I don't know what that means, but. Uh, so anyway, he says, uh, it's going all right. How are you? And they say, I'm, I'm doing okay. And he says, that's good. Hey, I don't want to make this awkward. I had a good time and all, but I'm just not sure if we clicked super well. And I was looking for something that will last long term. So based on him saying that, that sounds like that's not a hookup. Or maybe he hooked up and now he's, he's pulling the ripcord and he's like, I'm out. But anyway, he's he's trying to be nice, and he says, hey, I don't want to make this awkward. We had a good time, but I don't think we, we super clicked. I'm looking for something that will last long term. Listen to the reply. Again, an adult reply from a woman would be, no problem. I understand. I had a good time. 
I didn't really feel the connection either, or too bad, I thought this could have worked out. No, what does she say? She's like, ah, ha, 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 that's cute. You actually thought I'd go on another date with you? Today I alone, alone, I probably had 10 DMs from guys, some being verified. Ooh, they're verified on, on Tinder. That makes them super special. You're like a six, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> now that is emotional damage. I'm not going to hit it again. That is emotional damage. But you know something? The screen. There are guys that do this too. There are guys that react like this. But you notice it's the important thing is it's not a one-way street. These get posted and they're like, oh, guys are so, these incels are so butthurt and they're nasty or evil or dangerous or whatever else they want to come up with. Here's literally a woman doing the exact same thing. And the guy's like, I don't even know how to respond to that, but okay. And she says, you're a narcissist. And so it's, and it's so evident, uh, evident, stop actually stop texting me. So now he's getting called names. See, this is, you know, women and or men, I'll say this across the board. If you wonder why you get ghosted sometimes, it's because a lot of times when people try to let somebody down easy and they try to let them down nice, the person on the other end goes all creepazoid on them. And a lot of times it's easy, just easier to go, I didn't have that good, good a time and blocked and, and never talked to them again. And this is why. Uh, let's see, here's another one. Um, I think this is Snapchat. This looks like Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat much, but uh, let's see. So, okay, I don't remember the, the, I think he said that, I think he said that they went out on one date and he wasn't interested. I try to remember these. I could screenshot the whole thing, but it's all the same. So she says, huh. That's why you said no to me. Oh, okay, I do remember this. This is a guy that, that she asked him out and he said, no, he wasn't interested, didn't find her attractive. That's it. He said, that's it. Now, these guys could be lying about what they said, but he's saying, this is what I said. Uh, so, so she says, huh, that's why you said no to me. Huh, wow, all right, okay, I see. I knew it was stupid to even care about you. I'm controlling my anger, but WTF, bro, I cared. I really did, but nah, everyone wants to hurt me. Dumb of me to believe you'd care. Now, remember, this is a woman that asked him out and they either went out once or she asked him out and, and said no. And I think that's why I said, that's why you said no to me. Cause one of them was like, he, she asked me out and I said, no. And, and here she is. I cared about you. I'm controlling my anger. Uh, dumb of me to believe you'd care. This is a girl that's created a relationship in her head over someone she's never even gone out with. Why? She's attracted to him. Maybe he's got a lot going on for him. Top five, 10% or something like that. She fell in love with the idea of being with him. And then he was, when he's like, I don't want to be with you. She's now feeling like she's breaking up with the idea of him. That, does that make sense? That's why they go all mental like this. She continues on, so stupid. This really was a, a sign to stop caring for people. And, and, and this be why you're so distant. And never texting me. Unbelievable. I'll let you explain, but I'll never believe it. It's like, dude, why are you interacting with these people? Like, if, if she likes you and asks for your number and you're not interested, just say no thank you. Like, I've got, and you know what? I understand why. I genuinely do understand why women make up the I've got a, a boyfriend. Because really what they're saying is, please, please no. Like, I'm trying to let you down nice because I'm not interested in you. Got, it sounds like this dude might actually have to make up the um, I have a girlfriend line. Because she, like, she fell in love with the idea of them together and they didn't even exist together. Uh, Don DeMaio sent a dollar. Thank you. Hope you and yours are well. Would love to see another odd man out soon. Always enjoy them. Yeah, you know, I pulled up a bunch of news and it was so grim. I was just like, man, I, I, I it's like black pill after black pill after black pill. And uh, I'd like to find something good to talk about, but I'll, I'll talk about the news even if it is a shit show because I think it's going to be a shit show for a while. We may just get need to get used to having bad news. I think that's I think that's where it's going. Oh, uh, so it continues on. 
he hasn't even resp responded. Right? He didn't respond, did he? Let me see. Yeah, he's, okay, he's never said a word here. This is just her ranting after he said, no, I'm not interested in you. There's another page. I forgot about this. Uh, she says, uh, to be honest, uh, she writes, okay, and people, young people today write like three-year-olds, so forgive me for reading this because apparently and, it, and being three letters is too long, so we're just going to use the letter N. Uh, she says, to be honest, I... I am think you know how jealous and in, in psycho I can get. So you better hurry and explain before I explode. So now she's jealous and psycho over a guy she's never gone out with. And maybe she's stalking him on social media because now she says, and she's wearing your hoodie. That's your effing girlfriend. I said effing because I'm so used to YouTube. That's your fucking girlfriend. Huh. That's why you said no to me. Okay, so now it's starting to become clear here, right? She's, he said no to her because he does have a girlfriend. And now she's stalking him on social media. And she's like, who's this girl wearing your, your uh, hoodie? That's who your girlfriend is? That's why you said no to me? Yeah, this dude is taken. She's like, huh, wow, all right, okay, I see. These are all separate sentences. I knew it was stupid to even care about you. And oh, maybe this is the the the, the tail end of the other one here. Yeah, that, that's the tail. Uh, so I got these backwards. But anyway, so so she made up a romantic relationship with the two of them. Then he says, "No, I got a girlfriend. I don't want to go out with you." And then that's what he gets in turn. Still think you're missing out, guys. Still think you're missing out on those old dating apps? And uh, this is another one. And and you guys in the chat, let me know if you. I, I think is this Facebook messaging? Is this this to me looks like Apple messaging because I see the green text here, which means that it's an Android phone. But that I don't know if that makes sense because this is this is a screenshot of the person answering. Maybe it could be WhatsApp. I don't know. But the reason why I'm asking is because um, the reason why I'm asking is because right here it says 106. And that, that, again, leads me to believe they've got 106 other messages or 106 other contacts or like something else. So this is not like a, a, a dude that doesn't have options. That's what it sounds like to me. You guys watching the video, I'm sure you'll know. Uh, someone says that's an Apple device or iPhone. And someone else says 106 other text messages on iPhone. Yeah, so she's not talking to a, a guy that doesn't have a lot going on. But you can see that in the way the girls are talking to the guys. They're like, oh my God, please love me. You're so amazing. I'll share you with your girlfriend. Just touch me. <laughs> she says, hey, with two Y's. That's always, the more wise guys, just so you know, the more wise, the more indication of interest. Like, hey is hey. Hey, two wise is hey. It's like five wise is hey. <laughs> She's like, hey, is this still so and so? And he's like, yes, it is. Who is this? So obviously, and and here uh, he's blocked out the number. He doesn't even have the contact saved anymore. Uh, he's like, yeah, it is. Who is this? And they're like, it's blank from Tinder. I saw your profile was back up, so I wanted to say hi. So this girl saved this dude in her phone from the previous time they matched. And I'm having a feeling that either they hooked up and he bounced, or he just was like, nah, fam. Like I, he talked to her and he's like, I'm not feeling it. Anyway, she says, it's so-and-so from Tinder. I saw your profile was back up, so I wanted to say hi. We matched a couple of years ago. But you had a girlfriend, so we never met up. Okay, I don't know why he was on Tinder, if he had a girlfriend, but maybe he said he had a girlfriend after, like, he was trying to let her down easy. Uh, and then, I guess his phone rang, and, and then she says, oops, that was a butt dial. Sorry about that. That's December 23rd. He doesn't reply. Okay, because obviously he's like, I don't know who this is from Tinder, but no. 
So, uh, like, uh, let's see, 10 days goes by. Uh, Monday, January 3rd, she says, hey, hey, with two little smiley faces. I forgot to tell you, Happy New Year. And again, this is him just being a nice guy, but you can't be, you, you cannot be nice to crazy people. Just block and move on. He's like, hey, so-and-so, Happy New Year. And he said, to be honest, with all due respect, I don't exactly remember you by name. And I've cycled through like two new phones since then, LOL. Sorry for my poor memory. Now, more than likely, he actually just deleted them from, you know, when you go through and clean out your contacts every once in a while, he just deleted her, but wanted to let her down nice. Because again, he's being a nice guy here. This is, again, this is Chad Thunder Thunderstroke. Whether they did or didn't hook up, I don't remember. Sometimes I have to read through all the text to see if they did. This is Chad Thunderstroke, and he's being nice. He's like, she even said, we haven't, we haven't met up, we haven't hooked up or anything, because you said you had a girlfriend. So he's trying to let her down nice, and now he's being like, oh, I don't have your information, new phone, whatever. Still trying to be nice, right? Uh, she says, that's okay. I, it's been like, I think, four years. She's digging through ten Tinder contacts from four years ago. Talk about a zombie from the grave. She says, I'm glad I found you back on Tinder. You were in a relationship for that long. I hope I didn't scare you away. That's on January 4th. And he didn't reply because now he's like, oh God, this is from four years ago. Like zombie from the grave, zombie from the past. And Monday, January 17th, so two weeks go by since she sent that stuff. And she's like, hey, hey it's so-and-so. And he doesn't reply. And here it comes, guys. Here it comes. She's like, hey, so-and-so, it's me again, just checking in. Now, this was <laughs> this is at 1041. Here comes the escalation. Hey, so-and-so, it's me again, just checking in. How are you? Two minutes later, I didn't know if my texts and calls are going through. Same minute, are you getting my texts? Two minutes later, did you block me? Two minutes later, um, question marks, hello? Uh, three minutes later, did I do something wrong? Three minutes, I was gonna ask if you wanted to finally meet up and get dinner. One minute left, or one minute later, we talked about that sushi place in Coral Gables, we could do that? Three minutes later, I apologize for spam texting. I just really wanted to see if we could be something special. We spoke for a while and it got on so well. One minute later, remember my dog, Lucy? We talked about maybe doing a play date with uh, uh, Junie. Uh, <laughs> now, the rest of these go on for like the next hour. One minute later, um, hello. Oh, and, no, she says, uh, and, and uh, Misha, how's Misha? You sent me the cutest pic of her. Two minutes later, hello, 45 minutes later, I'll take the silence as an answer. I'll leave you alone now, sad face, sad face, sad face. Now, here's a hint, guys. And and when you get crazies like this, it's 100% guarantee when they say, you know what, I'll just leave you alone. You could literally go one, two, because <laughs> they're going to message back every time. Uh, let's see, 15 minutes later. So wait, you're actually not going to respond? That's so rude. Sm uh, frowny face. All I wanted was to see if this would work, but whatever. See if what works. See if what works. It was, it was a failed date from f Tinder four years ago. And remember, this guy tried to let her down nicely. Now you want to know why he just evaporated and never responded? This is why. She wants to see if, if nothing could work four years later. Hey, remember nothing we had four years ago? I'd like to see if we could keep that rolling. And obviously with him not replying, he's like, yep, we can keep nothing going just as long as you'd like. I'm spitting, I'm laughing over here. Oh my gosh. I'll give him this. I think at this point, he's like, I'm not going to respond, but I want to see where this goes. So I'm going to leave her unblocked. Uh five question marks and 10 exclamation marks a minute later. Uh, blank, hello? Uh, Jesus Christ, hello? Just, uh, just fucking answer at least. I keep wanting to say effing because I'm so used to YouTube. Just fucking answer at least. I'm trying to work this out. There's literally nothing to work out. 
we could have a beautiful life together and you're ignoring this, ignoring us. Now, I don't know if there's a, is there another one? No, guys, guys, like, I, I, I could have every warning bell, like, alarm over here. A four-year-old Tinder date comes at him like this, and imagine if this was actually a girl he was dating. My God, imagine if he took the old, you know, trouser snake and did the in and out. And you want to talk about the women that, that will go out and ruin your Facebook and post on everything in social media and call all your friends and say that you did awful things and maybe eventually end up going to the popo, going to the police and saying that you did something wrong to punish you. This is it right here. This is it right here. Jesus, that is frightening. Seriously. All right, next one. Um, okay, this is one where the guy said that they didn't hook, hook up, and this was either a girl that um, met or they had gone out on a date and it didn't work out. I'm trying to remember these in order, um, and I forgot to write it down, but I read through these and kind of remember it. She says, sorry, so-and-so, we were wild. Now, again, English is not the first language for young people today. I do not know what is up with this. Uh, and you guys in the chat, let me know. Is this common? Like, do you guys, I mean, at my age, I don't see this, even if I'm dating. Do you younger guys see, like, do you, do you write back and forth like this? Seriously? She says, sorry, we were wild. Big, I want to fuck you, I. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? What does that even mean? Oh, I downloaded a new one. I downloaded a new one for you guys. Big, I want to fuck you, I. What the hell is even that? I do not know what that means. I do not know what that means. Uh, hey, sorry for what I made you through. F you. Not sure how I got this, but I'd fuck you. And he still didn't respond. Well, f and then she says, well, fuck you then. F you. I guess you'll never fuck me. But it's okay because you are balding and poorer. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And in my closing statement, your poor fam will never have what we have. Okay, bye. Uh, Matt Work, uh, Matt Work, twenty one cent, one dollar. Thank you. Uh, schools are so busy teaching uh, the LG HD TV, the the trans and other indoctrination. There's no time for English and math. This I know. Trust me. Trust me. I do know this. I would. I love the. I love the vocalization of that. Bye. So she. But but guys, again, when we talk about the, you know, so many people are like, oh, you incel dudes talking about 10 and top 10 and top 20 percenters guys if you're an average guy how many women go cuckoo for cocoa puffs that are just like i just want to sleep with you please just sleep with me i know a lot of guys that would like that problem i really do i know a lot of young men today that would really like the problem of just please just just touch me with it wave it in my general direction let me sniff it <laughs> I mean, so many guys would love someone to be... Now, th these are crazy women. Obviously, you do not want to put your your trouser snake anywhere near these girls. But this would... Even if you're just an average dude, this would make you feel really good if you're like, man, she wants me. Oh, man, she's thirsty. But this is what... This is what the... This is what the, the guys get. The, the top 10 and 20 percenters. And yeah, other guys get it too, but not very often. Or if they do, it's from like the two, two percenters. Uh, this is a guy that was uh, messaging back and forth uh, with a, uh, I think this is on, actually on Tinder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, here's the thing. I, I will preface this. The guy said uh, the reason why he wanted them to give out their number first is to make sure it wasn't a bot. 
And I'm, I'm wholeheartedly on board with that. Okay. So when you say as a guy, Hey, I, I, I want her to give out her number first. Cause I'm afraid of bots and I don't want to give my bot to some scam artist or something out there. Like I get it. And uh, she says, I like fitness, yoga, travel, roller skating, food, cooking, and music. He says, that's good because I like those things. <laughs> wow. He's a smooth talker. This is good. I also like things. <laughs> he says, that's good because I like those things. She says, tell me your phone number and I can send you a short message to keep in touch for a long time. Now, do you hear the, do you hear the language there? That sounds kind of body to me. That sounds like a bot a little bit. Tell me, because here's how you'd normally say, hey, give me your phone number. I'll, I'll shoot you a text or give me a phone. Tell me your phone number and I can send you a short message to keep in touch for a long time. You're like, wait, what? That sounds a little, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, ha okay, what's your number? And she says, I asked you first. Uh, you should have told me. A phone number or telegram number would have been fine. Now, I'm, I don't mean to read that like a bot, but the sentence structure actually kind of feels like a bot, especially after reading Abonics 101 in the previous one. I asked you first, you should have told me. A phone number or telegram number would have been fine. That sounds body to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, someone says, sounds like me so horny me. Love you long time. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, he says, sorry, I, I don't just give out my number first on here. But if you give me yours, I'll text you and you will have it. And this was the reply. And af now after, th after this, it was instantly block you can't reply to this conversation. But here's what's interesting. This person's dating profile is no longer available. So the time this conversation start started, he got the block instantly. LMAO, this is ridiculous. You wouldn't be considered a man. You don't even have the guts of a woman. And you think your cell phone number is important? Like who says you have the guts of a woman? They're either like from Southeast Asia with broken English, or this is a bot. Um, uh, you don't have the guts of a woman, and you think your cell phone number is important? I think nothing. I can give any person I want, and I'm not afraid of anything. You are not a gentleman at all. Asking women to make an example of men first is not a man. Cut off his penis to be a misogynist. You keep, it is useless. Idiot men who are worse than dogs and pigs. Even if you take me your number, I won't even take it. Look, I will not even look at it because you are really too trash. Does your mother know that she has a loser, trash, piggish child like you? She is ashamed of you. Bye. That, my friends, is 100%. That's a real, maybe that's a real response. That is 100% scammer, probably from like China or something or other, or India or something or other. Because the insult of a pig, yeah, calling somebody uh, I, idiot men who are worse than dogs and pigs, that right there sounds a little sounds a little Asian to me. And so good on him. That's what because this is definitely a scammer. That's why he didn't want to give his number out. But you notice something: men on these apps are so used to scammers that that they're scared to give out their phone number. Why? Why waste your time? Why waste your time? Um, okay, so this is one, I, I don't remember exactly. I, again, I think this is one where they had a conversation somewhere. Um, I don't think they went on a date. But the girl says, what makes you even say that when you don't even know me? Because I, I think he was trying to break it off. And he said, based on what little I did learn, I don't think it's a good match. Nothing personal. I wish you the best and hope you find what you desire. Again, a nice mature breakup or a nice mature, I'm not interested text. And she says, what little did you learn? But that's fine. You're far from wrong if you think I'm rushing anything, LOL. Just like I said, worst case, we can become friends. I'm looking for a friendship to turn to more if it feels right, but all good. I deserve someone who can support me far more than one that works at blank. Also, a real man 
who knows what he wants versus you judging me like an immature boy. You should really change your bio on Bumble then. Waste of a night talking to you last night. I don't wish you the best. So this to me sounds like they didn't hook up. It sounds like they texted. They didn't actually meet up. And all he was saying is, hey, you know what? Like, I don't, I don't think this is working out. And again, she's like, worst case, we can be friends. She doesn't want to be friends with this guy. She wants to kind of be an orbiter and stay in his world and try to coax him to be with her, either through being nice, being aggressive, sleeping with him. These are the kind of girls that are like, can we just sleep together? Can we just bang, like just for fun? And then if the guy does, she gets into the, I thought we meant something. You took advantage of me. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I'm going to tell all your friends that you're misogynistic. These, these, are the, these are the women. And all he was trying to do is be like, thanks, but no thanks. And then she goes in. Oh, and here's something else that's key. I almost, I deserve someone who can support me far more than someone that works at blank. So she's literally saying to this guy, well, since you don't want me, here's why you're not good enough. Because you only work at blank, whatever it is, because they marked it out. And I deserve more. No, you don't deserve anything. And that's what this guy's telling you. You don't deserve anything. But, but you see how she thinks. She thinks like, hey, I was going to sleep with you because you're hot. But in reality, I need somebody that makes more money than you if I'm going to be with them. Yeah, we know. Trust me. We know. Um, this is another conversation. She says, what's the most romantic thing you've done for a female and your mom doesn't count? He said, I got a girl some roses for graduation, I guess. What's anything that you've done for your man? And she says, I got his mind right. That's priceless. You ever had a girl change your trajectory of your life with just her presence? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. Uh, I got my man's mind right just by being in my presence. That's priceless. And his response is killer. He says, you really don't be doing shit for people, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that one's a great burn right there. That one's a great burn. Yeah. You're not going to change a man's life just by getting his mind. You know what getting his mind right means? I was, I was with a man. I was in his presence. And all I did is bitch and complain and tell him that he was wrong. But I was correcting him, you see. I was getting his mind right. <laughs> and this is her. This is, and she thinks this is a romantic thing. Oh, just unbelievable. I love it. All right, this, this girl's from Australia. I, now, I do not know the app. I, I have no idea what... The, there's so many new ones out there, but somebody, had, again, had posted this on Reddit. And uh, she's from Australia. And I, I think this is like a social media post, kind of like Instagram or something like that. But listen to her advice. But just listen to this. She says, if his body count above zero, he ain't the one. No, sir. Red X's. No self-respecting woman wants recycle, used, and abused damaged goods. Respect yourself, you low-value degenerate. So, gentlemen, if you've slept with another woman, you are a recycle, used, and abused damaged goods. You better respect yourself, you low-value degenerate. And what's the next line? I collect virginities like Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> so she wants the men to be virgins and then she sleeps with them takes the virginity away because she likes collecting them like pokemon cards and then turn around and calls the guys that just slept with her uh tells them to respect themselves because they're low life degenerates because no woman wants recycled and used goods so apparently she wants fresh out of the package guys only and then the, the last line in this is what kills me. Don't hit, uh, don't hit me, don't, don't H, HML. I know HMU is hit me up. Don't hit me later, I guess, 
don't, don't HML, don't hit me later. Wouldn't that be hit me up later? I don't, young people, I just don't. Uh, don't hit me up later unless you're ready to worship me, provide for me, cook and clean for me, clean the dirt off my feet and do everything I tell you to. This is, this is either one of two women, neither of which men want to be with. Number one, someone who has a very high value of herself who's delusional. Or number two, a woman that's had success sleeping with guys and she thinks all men want to be with her and her head is so fat she can barely walk through a doorway. All right, next one. Uh, this one's a great, this one's a great l l lose. This is a great lose. So this is a guy named Adam posted this. They were talking back and forth. And his last sentence is like, well, mainly I wanted to work on drone technology. What got you into social working? And she didn't respond like always, because why would women want to talk? Oh, but this guy, you remember that all the women that say, I don't want, if you're just in a shirt or if you're just in a, uh, selfie with a shirt off, I don't want to talk to you. This dude is literally in a selfie taken in a mirror with a shirt off. The difference is uh, he looks very fit. He looks very muscular with a small waist. So they don't, women don't want to see you with your shirt off unless you're pleasant to look at with your shirt off. They're always... Anyway, uh, she didn't respond to his initial thing. And he says to her, hey. And here's the thing. She says, hey, Jake. I'm so sorry for never responding. I've been struggling. What's new? And he's like, Jake? And she says, oh, God, that's very embarrassing for me. I am so sorry. When I tell you I've been struggling, I absolutely mean it, laughing my ass off. Rest in peace. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what, what, what just happened there? His name is Adam. The guy's name was Adam, and she came back with, hey, Jake. <laughs> so I'm telling you, women have so many. Someone says bot, but I'm telling you right now, no, this is, this is women that have so many d dudes contacting them that they're keeping 5, 7, 10, 15, 20 guys on the hook, cycling through them, and whichever one they decide to go out, they go out with. Um. Yeah, Shadowcaster says, oh, come on, we know uh, we all text to multiple people. Yeah, I I'm not, like, here's the thing. I'm not hating that she's texting mo multiple people, but these women have so many, and she didn't even bother to take the time to pay attention to who she was responding to. She got the name completely wrong. They don't, it's, for so many women to, remember, it's validation. They're just bored. They're just bored looking for something to do. All right, this is, a, uh, this is a guy that got a profile that liked him. So this is a dating profile of the day. Here, we'll do, a, we'll do the old dating profile intro. All right, we did that for fun. Here, I even do a little music. A little dating profile of the day music to wrap things up. Uh, Brandy liked this guy. So he took a screenshot of it. Guys, are you ready for the type of women you're missing out on on dating apps? Her name's Brandy. She's 36. She says, I'm short, four foot 11 inches tall, and I'm fat. Roly poly. I have bad teeth missing my bottom four and gaps in the top. No time or money to get them fixed. Now, here's the best part, right? If she just stopped there, it's just a description. I'm 4'11", I'm fat, I'm missing four teeth on the bottom and, and gaps in my teeth on time, and I have no money to get them fixed. But here comes the entitlement. We've always got to bring the entitlement. If you don't like that, then don't waste my time. It's a dating app. If people don't like, you don't have to put that sentence in there, but she's got to come with the attitude, right? Toothless and fat. she got to come in with attitude. I work second shift in a factory. When I'm not working, I'm playing on my computer, or uh, and watching Netflix, me and my mom live together with a dog and seven-ish cats. And again, the entitlement. You ready? Don't like it. Move on. Now, the best part about this profile so far. Are you ready for it? 
<laughs> the best part of his profile so far. I have seven-ish cats. How do you not know how many cats you have? How do you not seven-ish cats? How do you not know how many cats you have? You know what this is, guys? This is probably a hoarder, and they got tons of crap everywhere, and they just occasionally have a cat come up and feed, and they're like, well, that one's black and white. I remember that one. That one's got orange tabby stripes. That I remember that one. Wait, where'd this one? Whose cat is this? That's seven-ish cats. But again, let... We got to load up for the entitlement. If you don't like it, move on. And and guys, here's the icing on the cake. What I don't want, what I don't want. So the woman without teeth, at least six of without six teeth, the one that's probably living in a hoarder dumpster fire with seven-ish cats and a dog and her mother who works in a factory and who's vastly overweight, she's going to tell you what she doesn't want. <laughs> I don't like guys of color. Oh, you gentlemen at least are safe. Whew, dodged a bullet on that one. She said, you can't make a s'more with two marshmallows. Sorry, I like skinny guys and nothing over an hour. I hate distance. So... Big girl with no teeth, living in a dumpster with her mom. You have to be skinny. You can't be fat also. You can't be, you can't be a brother. And nothing within an hour because she hates distances. Let's be honest. The only thing that's probably going to leave her in her dating area by the sounds of her are relatives. Let's be honest with this. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. This is straight out of deliverance right there. All right, last dating profile of the day. Uh, this is from a straight gal. She says, about me. Now, if somebody ever says I'm not being conceited, but there's going to be a whole lot of conceited going on. I'm not being conceited, but it's actually an honor to be with me. Oh, wait, you're serious. <laughs> Do you know what an honor it is for you to be here with me this evening? <laughs> that one made me cough. She said, I've been through my fair share, and I truly believe I am genuinely a good person with so much to offer. If you're genuinely a good person with so much to offer, you don't have to tell people you're a good person with a lot to offer. They know it. I'm not often on here, so DM me if you think you're strong enough and worthy enough to be in my life. I'm surprised this one doesn't have any of the, the, the passions aren't the alphabet. And there's no passions here for uh, mental health awareness. I will say this, there should be. You know something, and here's the thing I, I don't think women understand. Here's the thing I, 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 I don't think women understand. Even if you're a smoking hot 10, even if you are Carmen Electra in her prime, even if you're Erica Elenick in her prime, Under Siege, great movie. No, I'm saying under C. Um, even if that's you, the minute you say if you think you if you think you're strong enough and worthy enough to be in my life, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, Jessica Alba in her prime. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love. I, I you know again. I don't want to do these too often. But they're fun. I have so much fun doing these with you guys. And it's so ridiculously silly. I, I'm not going to do them all the time because then my channel just becomes like, you know, a TikTok weird channel. And there's plenty of those already. But I want you guys to see something. You're on these dating apps. Even if, if you're like, I never get any matches. Even the successful guys, right, that are dating and they're getting a lot of action and everything. 
They have to put up with so many headaches and so much shit and so much craziness. I got to be honest, I, I, I can't imagine it'd be worth it. So those of you guys that are not having luck on these dating apps, you're not missing anything. Even if you're a top 10 or 20 percenter, you get crazies after you all the time. Women are not mentally well in a lot of cases. They're needy. Uh, and, and you might get yourself in a, in a pinch where you get, you know, where you get blamed for something you didn't do because they're literally cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Now, if you can avoid the crazy ones, the good news is you can perpetually date forever. You can have your choice of women. You can just kind of sleep around and women will come crawling back to you as you discard them callously into the river of life. Uh, but, you know, that, that's, that, that leaves not much for the rest of us. I'll tell you, it's pretty slim pickings out there. All right, guys, we're going to end it up here. If you're just a member and not a supporter, please consider becoming a supporter today. It's $4 a month if you sign up for a year. Uh, it's 5 bucks a month if you just do month by month. And uh, we'll see you next one, guys. I got to go eat dinner and go take my dog for an hour-long walk. I need my exercise and all that. All right, gang, we'll see you in the next one.